Hi everyone, welcome to Dee's Cabbies and Vintage Toys. Some of you guys have been requesting specific videos from me and I want you guys to know that I will get to them and I apologize, it's taken me a little bit. Things have been a little busy. Today's video is actually gonna be on a request that one of you had. Actually, a few of you guys have asked for this one. We are gonna be talking about the Coleco Cabbage Patch Kid hairstyles. So I think I have almost all of them to show you guys. So if you guys want to see that, stick around. Welcome back, you guys. I figured that I would start off with the boys because the boys, there were fewer hairstyles for the boys. And I'm going to start off with the fuzzy boys because they were actually only released for in, from the Coligo company for the first year. 1983, the black signatures were the, where the fuzzy boys came from. Um, and a lot of people get confused because the Jesmar company they had fuzzy boys later on, you know, 84, 85, but Coleco, we're talking about Coleco today. So Coleco only produced them in 1983. So I have a couple fuzzies here. I have my little wheat boy number two, Freckles. He's considered a little hard to find. Um, actually, all of the fuzzy boys are, are really considered hard to find because they only, came, they only produced them that first year. But he is a very special boy. He's got the freckles, the blue eyes. He's so, so cute. And then he's got his little fuzzy partner over here. He's also a number two. And he is, he's really hard to find because he's an AA kid. And he is just everything. Look at him, you guys. He's absolutely beautiful. Fuzzy boys are my favorite anyways. But these guys are very, very special. And then we have our number one head mold brown haired fuzzy boy i believe that um the fuzzies came in wheat colored hair brown light brown i don't think that it came in that they came in the auburn but don't quote me and i know that they did come in red hair and i don't have i do have a you guys already saw him i do have a red haired fuzzy but he was a jesmark from the jesmark company not from the coleco well, we're still talking about the Fuzzy Boys. I just wanted to tell you guys this real quick. Okay, so Coleco made them the first year. Um, a lot of people say the first year was 82, but I've heard 83. 83 is when uh, they were actually released and, you know, um, they hit the mass market in 83. But it's that first signature, the black signature. Um, but what I want to tell you guys is, so Coleco made them the first year, and then Jesmar made some fuzzy boys when they were producing the kids. And Jesmar, for those of you that don't know, those are the kids that were made in Spain. Um, but you will see fuzzy boys that, um, you know, were produced in 84, 85 that were from Coleco, but they're not authentic, meaning that they, they were not released that way. Originally, those boys, were um this is what i've heard that those boys were originally loop boys so they had the curly loop hair and what a lot of people do is they they cut the loops and then they brush the hair out and there you go you've got a fuzzy boy and they're very very cute i actually have one um but i didn't want to show them because i i wanted to show you guys the authentic fuzzy boys but that was just a little fyi for you guys Okay, so another, um, this is another one that can sometimes bring confusion. Um, this guy here, he's a number 11 head mold. I love this head mold. And he is a shag. So he's a brown hair, uh, brown colored shag hair boy. And sometimes I will see in the groups and, you know, on Instagram and stuff, people will post a picture of a, of a kid with this hairstyle and they'll say my fuzzy um and, and this isn't any disrespect to anybody but i just want to clear this up he is not a fuzzy he is a shag and and how you can tell actually i'm going to show you guys the difference for one um he i believe he came out in like he's like an 86 or 87 so that's a clue right there um and so you're gonna know this 
The kids that are authentic fuzzies, for one, they have the black signature or brown signature with no date on the bottom. If you find a kid that you think is a fuzzy and uh, he has any other signature besides that one, if he has a signature with a date and a different color, it's a not a fuzzy boy. And he could be one that was, you know, shagged out or fuzzed out as they say, but he could also be a shag boy. If you look at these two, you can really see the difference. His hair is very, very short. Um, his is much, much longer and the texture is different too. His is very like uh, fluffy and soft and his is a little, a little more firm. Um, but you can tell by looking at it, look at the difference. It's very, very short. So this is our shag boy, equally cute, very, very cute. But these came out, you know, in the later years of Coleco. And um, I, I do hear a lot of people refer to them as fuzzies and they're not, they're, they're shag, but they're just as cute. They're adorable. We love them all, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to make that clear to you guys because sometimes people just don't know. And the last actual hairstyle of the boys is the loop. So this is supposed to be their curly hair. And um, as you can see, I've got my lemon loop and the auburn and the wheat boy. We've got three of them here. They're very, very common. This is a very common hairstyle for the boys. Um, Coleco produced this hairstyle, I believe, you know, throughout the whole time that they had the Cabbage Patch Kids. So yeah, these are very common, so cute, very, very cute. I love these guys. My little number 19, Lemon Loop Boy. My number four, the original Patsy Face, Auburn Loop Boy. And this is my little number, oh, he's so cute. My number nine, Wheat Loop Boy. Before we close out the boys' hairstyle, I just wanted to say um, there is another hairstyle, it's not really a hairstyle, that I do not have to show you in the uh, regular, you know, full-size Coleco kids. The, there were, for boys and girls, baldies. So you could also get a kid that was bald and, and they had girls and boys. So that was another option that you could get. And I did want to show you, because I only have boy preemies, I wanted to show you the two different hairstyles that you could get for preemie. One was bald, this little guy right here, number four bald boy and this little guy has a little tuft. They call this a little tuft. So he's a, a wheat tuft creamy boy. Head mold number three, so cute. One of my favorite kids. He's beautiful. I love how his outfit, look at how cute his outfit is on him because it look it goes so well with his eyes, the blue eyes. So these are these are the two hairstyles that came with the preemies. And Coleco produced, um, they were the first ones to produce the premiums. Another, so now we're on to the girls. And uh, this is a less common hairstyle for the girls, I, I would say. I've only seen it in this color. So this is the loop hairstyle, just like the boys that I just showed you a little while ago. And she is a wheat colored loop girl. I love this girl, she is so cute. She's the first girl that I've seen with this exact uh, style and, and color. And I fell in love with her. I think she's so beautiful. And there's also, uh, you guys may have heard this, because this one's a little more common, the Lemon Loop Girl. Everybody loves the Lemon Loop Girl. So the only two that I've seen with the loops for the girls is this color, wheat, and lemon. So I have three girls here. This is the, she's a lemon haired double pony. She's got the two ponies, one on each side, and then she's got the little curls right here on the front. It's pretty common hairstyle. And this little girl over here, oh, she's so beautiful. This is one of my all time favorite kids. I feel like I do not show her enough, photograph her enough. She's so beautiful. She's number four AA double braid girl. And I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see uh, the double braids very often. I actually only have two in my whole entire collection like her. This is very cute. And this girl right here, she is actually not a Coleco. 
she is a Jasmar, but I'm, I'm using her to just show you the hairstyle because this hairstyle did come um, in Coleco Kids. This is considered the uh, single side pony, I believe. And she's lemon, lemon colored side pony. So this little girl right here is, um, I wouldn't say she's uncommon, but she's pretty sought after. Collectors love poodle girls. And the this girl right here is a wheat colored poodle girl. So when you when I say poodle, if if your if your girl your baby has a head full of curls and then the little ponytails two ponytails sticking out of the side you can see in the back her whole head is curled and then the two little ponies you know coming out of the sides that's a poodle, poodle girl you've got a poodle girl and this girl right here is a little less common um really sought after as well this is a lion mane girl the lion and, and i think it's the name is so fitting it's it it really does look like a lion mane so she's got the two ponies sticking out of the sides and you know just like the just like the regular double pony girls but the front of her hair is almost like shag she doesn't have the curls in the front like most of the cabbies do most of the girl cabbies do her hair is kind of like fringe cut and you know and it flames her face and that's that's where they got the name lion mane you guys may already know what hairstyle this is cabbie collectors love popcorn girls and that's what these girls are so you can get your popcorn girl with one the single pony like this girl right here so her head is full of curls all the way around and then she's got a little pony sticking out the back with little popcorn curls coming out of it so so cute very hard to find um, very sought after harder to find and a lot more pricey than than your average uh, cabbie but they're worth it I I only have two I have these two in my collection and I love them I really do and this girl honestly she's a Hasbro girl but Coleco did make her um, and I just wanted to show you guys the, the, the two uh, different styles of popcorn girls that you could get and then this girl right here oh, she, she is a double uh, double pony popcorn girl and for whatever reason I think that the double pony popcorns are a little harder to find than, than the single pony but same thing so she's got curls all over her head little tight curls and then she's got a pony on each side with, with little popcorn curls coming out beautiful beautiful kids these girls here uh, came later in the Coleco years these are corn silk girls so everybody else that I showed you had yarn hair these girls have you know the traditional doll hair I guess they we call it corn silk but it's like the same hair that's on Barbie and most of, of your um, you know mainstream dolls but they're very very cute so she's a number 17 i love this head mold look at how cute this head mold is it's a little teeth she's got two little teeth sticking out but she's so cute so she has the double pony um you know two ponies one on each side and she's got you know the little curls framing her face also and then this girl right here has her her curls are so pretty look at these they're so cute Oh, she's adorable. I love this kid too. Number 18. She's number 18 head mom. So she has the single pony in the back. And there is one more. I believe there's one more hairstyle um, that came with the corn soap girls, but I don't have it. So they call it the Shirley Temple. So she has like the long ringlets all around her head. Very, very cute. Corn soap girls, they're, they're adorable. And I like... I love that the cabbies had the yarn hair. I do. I love that because it's very different. But the, the corn silk girls I appreciate too because they're different when it comes to Cabbage Patch Kids. They stand out a little more because most of the cabbies have yarn hair. This was so much fun to do for you guys. 
because it really reminded me of why these kids are so great and why after 40 years we're still collecting them. You know, back in the 80s, they were marketed as no two kids were alike. You know, I'm, I'm unique, I'm adoptable, and they stayed true to that for so, so many years. And that's why we have tons of them, and that's why there's so many for us to collect to this day. It's 40 years later, and we still love these kids. I was 12 years old, 11 years old when they came out, 12 years old when I got my first kid. I'm a lot older than that now <laughs> but I love them I still love them I think I'm always gonna love these guys and that's what makes them so great is that they're unique in their own way and no other doll company can compete with that they never been able to and and I don't think they ever will we love these guys because they're so different they're they, that's that's what keeps the Cabbage Patch Kids alive and that's why we still collect them this was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for suggesting this. Keep the suggestions coming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.